and you too. Sean, Leslie, the Dummies. Gonna try something brand new today that I really have never tried, even though it's been done a million times. Um, and that is uh, shooting a metal pan. Um, now, this is a regular old pan. This is your Betty Crocker pan. <laughs> uh, no, but really guys, um, it is pretty thick. I mean, I don't know what else to say. It, it's tough to tell um, what everybody's shooting at on the internet, but uh, or YouTube. But I thought I may as well add to the collection of videos. Um, so good old Betty Crocker, she's gonna get a pounding today. <laughs> yeah. um, don't know how well this is gonna go, so bear with me. But I'm gonna do a little different format. Uh, I'm going to use my Burma SD with my uh, lighter valve spring. Um, I'm not going to measure feet per second during the shooting of the pan. The way I'm going to do this. So I have a seven round mag um, and I have it loaded from heaviest to lightest. So the heaviest shot's going to be um, the first shot, uh, and I'm of the belief that your first mag counts. Um, so that's kind of the reasoning for, for doing it in, in this method. Um, so I have a 9.9 .9 gram, uh, can of rye ball, which is not ideally bore matched to the SD's barrel. Then I have a Grimberg Jewel, which is eight grams. Let me get in a little closer here. Then we got a jewel. That's eight grams. Uh, then I have another can of riot ball that is seven, three point seven grams. Again, not um, ideally bore matched. Well, neither is a Grimberg, but it's better. Grimberg's about a six eight four. It's a six eight two. Sorry, I should have done this in order. <laughs> Can of Rye Ball, 9.9 .9 gram is a 6.82 bore. Grimberg, 8 gram, 6.84. Um, can of Rye Ball, 3.7 gram is a 6.82. Then I have, last but not least, you can't see it in there, but it's tucked down the corner right here, is an 11 16 Delrin Ball. That is ideally bore match to the SD and has a weight of 3.7 grams. I have a fresh CO2. I'm going to shoot the pan. I'll move you guys in closer so you can see it. Um, and then I'm going to redo the test, but flip the mag. So lightest, uh, projectile lightest, best bore match projectile first. Um, and hopefully we can see some, some, uh, tangible differences. And honestly, I've, I've seen enough shooting pan videos to think that I'm an expert on shooting pans, but I, I, this is the first time shooting pans guys. So let's see what it does. Okay guys, puncture. And I should have mentioned, I will be shooting from about 13 feet. That is the best I can do right now with uh, my motorcycles in the garage. Um, so it's maybe not I the, the 15 to 20 feet that I think, uh, you know, that these are being used at. But eh, 13 is close enough. Um, let's go. 9.9 .9 gram. Oh, safety off. Of course, we hit a little high there. Uh, next is a jewel, 8 gram. Vertical 
plane is good. Uh, 3.7 gram Canada Rye Ball. Last but not least, uh, the 11 sixteenths. Oh, crap. No, I'm wrong. Not the 11 sixteenths. Sorry, guys. The next up is the 11 sixteenths. Uh, and then lastly, I have a Verna Kinetic because it was the lightest. Sorry, my bad, my bad. 11 sixteenths. Last but not least, Verna Kinetic. And we're going to hit right down just below that 11 16th ball. So we can remember this stuff. All right, that was all of them. Now, <clears throat> the Kinder Rye Ball, you can clearly see I was getting my bearings there. <laughs> bearings, no, yeah, let me try this side. Maybe the light. So the can of ball, of course it right there, but once I got my, my sighting in. Um, okay, so can of rye ball. Jewel. 3.7 gram can of rye ball. Sorry, I'm trying to... Just recall on the top of my head, 11 16 Delrin ball, that was 3.7 grams, and the Burner Kinetic. I, I wish I wish I had to hit this 10 grammar on on point here, but I mean honestly, looking at this. It's really tough to say. I mean I mean, I got a spring mod in this burner, but damn, they they all left a very good impression. I mean, okay, let me look at this in 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 my sight line here. Let's see. Honestly, okay, I mean, it's kind of what I thought. It, just by a smidge, this eleven sixteenth, this best four match ball. Um, cause the the biggest dent on the backside. I know your perspective is not going to be the same as mine, but um, maybe on the next one, I'll be able to get that 10 grammar, 9.9 .9 grammar in a better spot, but okay, let's load her up. Try again. Boom. Okay, guys. Um, I totally lied to you. Shooting a pan is going to get complicated. Um, so instead of doing the, another round through the, uh, burner. That light's not that great. Yeah, there, there we go. Um, <clears throat> I thought a comparison would be good. Uh, so I've gone ahead and marked the rounds and I had to use a paint marker because this uh, non-stick doesn't like sharpies so I had to use a paint marker so I've marked all the rounds that hit with the Berna SD and on the back I just wrote bees even though they look like little nut sacks they are bees um, and I'm gonna shoot it with my HDP 50 next now, I don't have a lot of different projectiles from HDP 50. I have 12.7 millimeter balls, steel ball bearings that I prefer, and I have it specifically tuned for. Um, I also have, well, here, let me just inject a couple here. So that's the steel ball bearing that my HTP 50 is tuned for. It has a HD 24 home defense uh, <clears throat> tuning barrel that I have honed to 
precisely match these balls. Uh, the other ball that I commonly use is this uh, riot ball that is, it weighs 3.5 grams, uh, but its bore is 12.4 millimeters, whereas this is 12.7. So again, with the bore matching, this one's the white, what riot ball is a little loose for what I've done to my marker here, but it's in the name of testing. Um, what I've done is staggered the rounds. So I've done steel ball first. Right ball, steel ball, right ball. This ATP 50 holds uh, six rounds. You can see it doesn't look exactly stock and it's not. Um, I have a lightened valve or lightened bolt spring in here. And this contraption on the back is actually because <sighs> this HTP 50 is normally HBA powered. Um, so this particular setup actually takes up space in the valve block or in the air chamber and acts like a valve block. Uh, but in this case, I'm just gonna test it anyways. I'm installing a plug in the back, it's an ASA plug, so I can do the CO2 test against the pan, and that's it. So, staggered shots, steel ball bearings are 8.35 grams, and the riot balls, the white ones, are 3.5 grams. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Fresh 12 gram CO2. Oh, I should mention, I also have uh, East Coast less, le less lethal uh, detent, modified detent in this particular uh, setup. <clears throat> Gregorius sent me a, a new one that does not require modification, so stay tuned for that one, but let's go. Unfortunately, there is no pin, but I heard the bolt click. Good to go. Shooting for the day, same distance, about 13 feet. It will be a steel ball bearing first, 8.35 grams. Shit. <laughs> uh, well, I sort of hit the same mark as the jewel um yeah so that may have affected it but it fucking went clean through and i was not expecting that guys i was not expecting that okay 3.5 gram riot ball is next let me lay, aim a little bit lower this time Oh, here we go down here. All right. Steel ball bearing. Oh, that was a good hit. <clears throat> Definitely left an impression. Okay, right ball. And I aim a little more center mass this time. I'm trying to maximize the space if you haven't noticed it. And it makes it a little harder to hit the target. And for the most part, guys, I mean, I'm actually not shooting at targets. I'm just shooting into my blank canvas. Um, but don't get me wrong. I can hit a person standing up if they ask for it. 3.5 gram. Uh, we got one steel ball bearing left, I believe. Okay, right there. And one right ball left. 3.5 gram. Yeah. 
And that it should be it. Let me just empty this off, make sure. That's it. She is over. Let's have a look at this, guys. Huh. I mean, this is not a comparison. Th these two markers have two different, um, these, they have two different uh, desired purposes, I guess you could say. Uh, okay, so the steel ball clearly went right through, but I did hit on a, a previously a, uh, a hit from the, what was that? That was uh, the burner shot jewel. So that was a jewel mark I hit there with the steel ball bearing. Then I hit down here with a 3.5 gram riot ball. Look in here again. Then I believe that was a steel ball bearing right there. Right beside the can of riot ball. What else we got here? And I think that was the last one there. And that was a 3.5 gram uh, riot ball. Sorry, that was a steel ball bearing, 8.35 gram. And riot ball, 3.5 grams. Uh, well, I mean, you can clearly see the impressions, um, and the HDP 50, damn it. Like it's so close to splitting that pan right there. Like literally, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit more. It's hard to see on that side, but. I mean, maybe in the shadow here. Not too close. There is a split on those. Those are the steel. Yeah, like that one. That one looks like an angry, you know what. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. So, it, this is just a comparison of output. Like I said, these two markers have two different uh, intentions. Burna was designed for pepper, uh, although the HDP, I believe, is probably designed for pepper. Um, clearly, it does better with kinetics. So, just some food for thought, guys. Hey! I gotta say, that wasn't bad for a first one. We'll shoot it some more with some uh, other markers coming up. As you can see from the text in the video, there were clearly some errors made and this was my first time. Uh, who knew counting to six or seven was that difficult, but um, I did make corrections and it's going to probably not seem relevant now, unfortunately, but, um, so 9.9 .9 gram hit up here. The jewel actually hit right there. The 11 sixteenths Berna hit right there. And the 3.7 gram can arrival hit right there. And then the burner kinetic hit right there. So they're a little bit off. Um, so in the grand scheme of things, the 3.7 gram can arrival, according to the profile I can see on my pan at least, um, perform the best. I'm going to have to retest that in my burner. Um, 
but it doesn't change the fact that, well, the HTP just demolished this thing. Um, so HTP first blew a hole kind of through my um, 11 16 burn a hole there. Uh, then I had a riot ball that hit down here. You can see I'm, I'm, I'm attempted to mark them so they're legible. Um, that reads 3.5 uh, RB. I know <laughs> you guys probably can't read it, but in any case, um, oh boy. Pans were harder to shoot than you would expect, but I mean, it had more to do with trying to gather relevant information, but um, doesn't change the fact these two markers were designed with different intentions. Um, and you guys would be surprised. I love power, but the Berna is actually what I carry in my vehicle. And there's a reason for that. Um, to me, vehicle is a safe place. Uh, if you are in your vehicle, you have many options to exit a situation, but if somebody encroaches on your window, uh, the Berna's pull to puncture um, feature is, is next to none, uh, much like a TIPX or a TCR for that matter. Um, but the burner comes in a very small package compared to those other two markers. Um, I'm shooting out a window and I'm getting the hell out of there. Uh, I'm not engaging anybody. Um, and it doesn't mean that I, I would do any different with an HTP 50, but the damage that it's doing may be considered not less lethal. Um, and it can shoot pepper balls too, but the slap to engage it for me in my particular uh, scenario doesn't work in a vehicle. So there you have it guys. I mean, I, I, I hope it was helpful. Hey, I learned something too. Uh, testing pens, it ain't easy. Like, subscribe. I will be shooting this pan again with some other markers that are probably um, way more powerful than either of these. Although, eh, that's to be debated. <laughs>